Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Haley, And I'm Stella. And today we are going to be watching Wednesday uh, Season 1 Episode 7. Uh, so we are are just in the thick of it. Uh, I think kind of all our theories are up in the air at this point. We don't know if, if the teacher is the younger sister or the therapist is the younger sister. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys have any theories thoughts uh like i don't know i i'm actually surprised that that i kind of thought we knew where it was going and now i don't at all and we're two episodes away yeah. from the end here mm -hmm. well and that's good because it means they kept us guessing towards the very end which is hard 100 percent. so um i'm super excited uh wednesday's being a bit of a jerk uh and she might get kicked out of the school i feel like that's right <laughs> where we left off and enid is sad which means I'm very angry. So, <laughs> all that being said, uh, Full Length Ratchet is going to be up to Patreon. Next episode, episode 8, is up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thanks for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome. Uh, feel free to stick around. we got a lot more content coming your way. And let's just get into Wednesday, episode 1. Or, 1? Wednesday, <laughs> episode 7. No idea why I said 1. Oh, jeez. Is this for... Who is this for? Probably the for the for the mayor. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was like, it's not for Eugene, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, is it Eugene? I have all the pieces of the jigsaw. I just need to slot them into place. What if I'm wrong? The music in this show has just been so perfect. Wow. Oh yeah, are we gonna get more of of the whole like romance with the mayor's son and everything? Yeah, Bianca and and that's very. I think his name is Lucas. <gasps> Who's that? Who, who was that? Who's that? It's Neo. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have like a pilgrim hat on? <laughs> Haley is now afraid of all pilgrims. Between this and the <gasps> witch, pilgrims are evil. Oh, mm -mm. no way. Oh my what gosh. The heck? <laughs> what Ooh. is happening? Is that where my pigtailed protege? Oh. Fred Armisen? <laughs> uh, okay. That's interesting casting for okay. Fester. Usually from the ceiling with the dagger clutched between my teeth just to keep him on his toes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I look how she's smiling about it. <laughs> what kind of job? The kind that means I need someone to lay low for a couple days. What does he do? Is he like an assassin? <laughs> like, is he a hitman? What is going on? <laughs> Practically Eugene's children. No. That means do oh, not no. eat them. Yeah. Why would... When you give me that death stare of disapproval, you remind me of your mother. <laughs> Speaking of scary things, <laughs> it's called a hide. Oh. Isn't Jekyll and Hyde? <gasps> Ooh. You've oh. seen one before. Oh, yeah. In 83, during my video. Wait, so maybe they don't know they're turning into the monster. <gasps> oh, oh, dude. Till one night, she transformed in the middle of a Chopin sonata. Massacred a dozen audience members. Oh, and my three gosh. music critics. What triggered her? Wait, so maybe it is Tyler. But, okay, but then how did he get scratched? Unless he, he accidentally... Scratched he scratched him himself? Like, yeah. I showed up unannounced one night, Gomez's dorm room. Let's just say I wasn't interrupting a pillow fight. Uncle Fester. <laughs> yeah. The diary. TMI. <laughs> like, those are my parents. <laughs> I was hoping for a stash of cash or jewels, but instead, I found a diary. No. Oh my gosh, bro. No, <laughs> he better not eat Eugene's bees. Why does he want to eat bees? Why do they have photos of me? And what is their connection to this hide? Whoever it is, they're clearly willing to kill for their secret. Yeah, that's true. We don't really know the connection yet between the two things, like the monster and, yeah. and Gates. Of course, Goody is nowhere to be found when I need her. Yoko's hosting a Manny Petty party for her crew. Mm. This is the third time in 24 hours you've forgotten something. Yeah, maybe she should apologize, <laughs> She's waiting for bro. you to apologize, bro. Suits me. With no annoying distractions, I'm almost finished with my novel. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That is so mean. There's a 24-7 addiction. Well, at least it's not a migraine-inducing typewriter him. <laughs> yeah. 
your canines you growl in your sleep as opposed to late night cello solos you overcommit to clubs and activities and then complain about them non-stop guess i'm the lucky one with a new bestie that doesn't try to find ways to endanger literally everybody she comes into contact with enjoy your solitude wednesday it's not solitude if you're still here I want Wednesday to get a new roommate that sucks. <laughs> yeah, honestly, learn to like, appreciate the bestie that you got. You don't get your own room. No way. Sorry. We'll switch you out and give you a way worse roommate. Uncle Fester? Mm. Who's Uncle oh. Fester? What? What are you doing here? Why are you always acting weird, Xavier? <laughs> Why are you always hiding behind things? <laughs> I'll save you some time. There's nothing in here matching that thing. Isn't that convenient? You know what your problem is? Every time the monster has attacked, you have been right there. <laughs> Starting with Rowan at the Harvest Festival. Yeah, but so is Tyler, you right? Know, I was yeah. Say, you know who else was there every single time? Yeah, I, this feels like a. Hmm. Oh, I, didn't I, I, was a I don't really feel like there's a lot of other. Nah, this options. feels like a, a red herring. Yeah. You think I would hurt Eugene? Let's not forget your oh so convenient appearance after Tyler had been attacked at the Gates mansion. Oh, and we know that wasn't him. I'd recognize the patter of those fingertips anywhere. It's a family reunion. Mm -hmm. You can't still be mad about the Kalamazoo job. It wasn't my. F <laughs> <laughs> Show me the diary. Uh oh. <laughs> this is turning into a replay of Kalamazoo. <laughs> Bro, give him a little bit of time, man. Is that a, like a little <laughs> bow? I know. <laughs> that I was so little, cute. <laughs> little emotions. No describes hides as artists by nature, but equally vindictive in temperament. Born of mutation, the hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or in Tyler's mom died. Yeah, I bro, was gonna it's say, traumatic it event. traumatic enough. <laughs> immediate bond with its liberator, who the creature now sees as its master. <gasps> comes the Ooh. Is <gasps> that the connection? Anyone willing to unlock a hide is a next Dude. And they kept talking about the mom, and it hasn't been paid off. <gasps> Ooh, wait. Enid has requested to room with Yoko for the rest of the school year. She did? When there's a falling out, I like to get both girls' perspectives on what happened. Part of the dorm experience is making friends with people that you wouldn't normally connect with. And those friends- The music is so ominous. Yeah, but this is like a weirdly wholesome interaction, too. I know, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean- I'll survive alone. I always have. Wednesday? But that's- Well, if that- You didn't need to. You, you can survive by yourself, but that doesn't mean you want to be by yourself all the time. Uncle Fester? Someone in there? How did he get there? Hey! <laughs> oh my gosh, that is horrifying. Your own rules. Do whatever you want. Just look at me! <laughs> um, I need to talk to you. No, like, like right Wait. Now. Who is he on the phone with? It yeah, who's like he talking to? Who's he talking to? 20 minutes. Ooh, sketchy. Okay, bye. I don't know. This feels too obvious to me. Oh, it's way too obvious. But there could be something else going on, very possibly. That's it, the road. Uh. <gasps> what? I picked it up on my way out of town. <laughs> Traveling cognito. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this music. It's the <gasps> therapist. It's the therapist. Okay. What? Wait a second. What? What? Huh? What? No, no okay. Now no this way. feels like its own misdirect. Because I think now they're trying to frame it as it's it's Xavier and the therapist. Yeah, 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 yeah. That has actually made me more suspicious. I think it's Tyler and, and Thornhill. But what's the verdict, Doctor? Am I cured? I don't think that's how therapy works. The judge assigned to your You know, I think I've actually reached the half hug stage. <sighs> <laughs> I think it might be a good technique to unlock my inner Wednesday. 
Are you a devotee? I have some homework I need to finish. If Wednesday says she's going to finish her homework, I would be so sus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weems is like, follow her. Have we her. seen her do homework <laughs> one time? I don't think we've seen her do homework once yet. The hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement. No. no Ew! Don't. Stop it, bro. Okay. Fester. Are you listening? It's called a hide. Yeah, but... Well, apparently a hide needs to be unlocked by someone. It's master. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Tyler. Oh, his dad is right. Yikes. Oh. What? D Uncle Fester disappears <laughs> so fast. For the record, Wednesday was trying to keep a distance. I was the one that sat down with her. Putting these up around town is a bank robbery suspect and is a real creep. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Great. Yeah, he'd be pretty hard to miss. I'll pin it on the bulletin board. I feel... I, I really like this sheriff now, honestly. <laughs> I feel yeah, really bad Yeah, he just feels like a dad doing his best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your family is very colorful. Well, between the monster and my uncle. Yeah, no excuses. Figure after what happened last time, you owe me. Or at least mm -mm. have the grace to turn him down. Yeah, you need to either say yes or no. Yeah. yeah. You, 9 p.m., Crackstone's crib. He's like, you want to go on a date in a tomb? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it was Wednesday, that's what I'd do, too. Your job is to guard that diary while I'm gone. It's not a date. It's a quid pro quo for almost getting him disemboweled. He literally said, let's reschedule the date. Dang. Dude. Wait, that's actually really cool. That is really nice. Dude. Wednesday, you need to start appreciating I... people. I mean, that's like a Pinterest date. I mean. <laughs> They gonna watch a movie? How do you feel about scary movies? <laughs> oh, she's trying not to <laughs> smile. Oh my god. Sun's up. It's a little after 12. I feel like you can't even tell what movie it is because this was in every 2000s movie. <gasps> oh, Legally it's dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love Legally Blonde. I've never seen this movie. Are you serious? Well, that's no. gotta be your next <laughs> That's going on the list immediately. Okay, don't hate me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. You'll snap out of it. Oops. I want to like him so Wednesday. bad, you guys. I'm not friend material, let alone more than friend material. I, I will ignore you, stomp on your heart, and oh. Hey, you can keep trying to push me away. It's not gonna work. I almost killed you. I survived. Beginner's luck. Kind of tougher than you think. You're making a mistake. Probably. Hmm. Are they gonna get interrupted by his dad? I like how she keeps trying to. Oh, oh no! Dude, of course. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. The school groundskeeper found a motorbike by the lake. It matches the description of the one the bank robber stole. There's a canoe missing. Figured he might be holed up on Raven Island. Dad, I got a date here. <laughs> but I never saw the two of you here. You got it. Unbelievable. <laughs> I love it. He's just like, I can't <laughs> stop know? this. Like <laughs> He's kind of cool, man. Oh. Uh-oh. The diary. Mickey. Oh, dude. <gasps> what happened to Thing? Ooh. Yeah. <gasps> uh, what? Not a chance. No way. <gasps> oh, my <gasps> gosh. <laughs> Sorry, I just inhaled so no! much I coughed. What the heck? There's no way. Is Thing dead? No! Thing that is unacceptable. Help, help, help. Thing's not moving. He was stabbed. Yeah, how does... How does... On the table. Oh, come on, Thing. Or no way. Are you serious? No! He's gone Wednesday. No. No, he's not. Thing. Dude, what the heck? If you die, I will what? kill you. Wednesday. Go again. Now, again, please! Wait, no, this- Wait, actually, this is really sad. What the heck? <sighs> yeah, oh my gosh. it's always, you gotta do it a billion times and then it somehow works. Knife from behind the back. Oh. Cowards. 
behind the back. I promise that whoever did this to you will suffer. And it will be slow, long, and excruciatingly painful. Yes. But who, how did they know about Thing? I guess I'll see you at your arraignment or the next family reunion. It'll always be my favorite Wednesday. You should have told Pugsley that. <laughs> That's supposed to be safely locked in the Nightshades library. So you do know about the diary. Which means you Ooh. also know the monster we're after is called a hide. That's not necessarily true. <laughs> Dude. He wanted to determine if they were just mindless killers or conscious of their actions. What was his conclusion? He was killed by a hide before he could reach one. Oh. Others tried to carry on his research, but the hides were too unpredictable and violent. But I'm not the only one withholding. If you suspect someone, you need to tell me. Why? All you've ever done is gaslight and obstruct me. You don't care how many people die as long as your reputation is safe. That's not... She's trying to protect the school. <laughs> Dang it, man. I wish we could just work together. <laughs> I feel like we could I, actually I get so much they done. Will. According to the British police report, Laura was presumed drowned, but no body was ever recovered. Apparently, the Gates Mansion was purchased a year ago by a 90-year-old candy heiress. She then mysteriously died. Yeah, it would be weird if Laurel Gates was the therapist, because you'd think somebody would recognize her. Revenge on all the people she blames for her family's misfortunes. Your father, the coroner, my parents, most of all, Nevermore. You know who Laurel is, don't you? Uh, no, you don't. No, it's not. I don't think and you this do. Is gonna, no way, dude. This is no going to be very uncomfortable. I know you're Laurel Gates. You've come back to Jericho to seek your revenge. I mean, who better to slide in and out of the hospital undetected than a psychiatrist under the guise of visiting another patient? Nah, dude, I don't think it is. It's not. It allowed you to crawl through the troubled, young minds of outcasts until you found one that you can manipulate to exact your revenge. I know all about the secret sessions you've been holding in your car. <sighs> I also found the cave in the woods where you've been holding sessions to unlock his hide. Even if this was her Wednesday, why are you putting everything on the hmm. table? You need help. More help than I can give you. Who are you calling, Xavier? Oh my gosh! <gasps> I'm going to recommend you stay in a juvenile psychiatric facility for observation. Oh, oh please. Jeez. Dude! I wasn't aware that Wednesday had a session today. She didn't, and her behavior was completely irrational. Uh oh. <gasps> Uh oh. Wait, what? What? Wait. She about to die? <laughs> oh my gosh! Is she dead? Did we yeah. just. Oh Dude. my gosh. No, no. Well, she's at hospital. least in the hospital. But why's the hide just chilling That's in her closet? She's gone. <gasps> Oh, what? She did die. Oh my gosh. Oh, gosh. wow. This ends now. Oh no. Believe me or don't believe me. I don't care. <sighs> and his vision was right of her dying. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Feels like yeah, but just because he knew it was going to happen doesn't mean... What is Rones and Haler doing in your shed? Whoa, whoa. Are these stalker images you took of me? <laughs> no. Don't forget your latest I... edition. Oh. <gasps> Cuff. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used. This is really bad, because if she's wrong. What? Oh, no. Oh. You. You framed oh, okay. me. I think he doesn't Shut know up. where those items Shut came up. from. No, he I don't think so. But then who doesn't. put them there? I'm gone for a few days, the place gets trashed, and Thing almost dies. Someone's gotta look out for you too. Oh. Oh. Enid is so good! Hey, I just decided I needed a few more boundaries. She's here to help you, Wednesday. You're welcome. Because we work. We shouldn't, but we do. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. Everything <laughs> you said about me is true. I'm sorry about Xavier. I'm not. He's a liar and a killer. Thing may have blabbed about your date with Tyler. So how'd it go? <gasps> it was interrupted. Well, I heard Tyler's working the late shift. 
Oh no! It's this is gonna be dumb. This is gonna be bad. Way too good to be true. It has made me reevaluate things. Like what? Oh, I don't want this to be cute. <laughs> it is kind of cute. Oh no! I'm so, so scared. Bad, so fast. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Dude, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know these things. I know these things. Of course, like, the he may not be aware of what he's doing, but he knows. Serial killing monster. That was your first kiss? Oh, oh man. Oh my gosh! I freaking Dude, called you it. Dude, you did. Oh my 100%. Gosh. Wait, okay. But there's still... Here's the thing. I... I may have been right. However, he has grown on me. Right? In, in the last two episodes. I know! And I kind of like, don't want him to be bad now. Like, 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 maybe... I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know. That, like what he's doing when he's the monster. I I, I actually think and, there's and, a chance. And, yeah, because I just I, it'd be yeah. pretty wild if he just like in the next episode like snapped and was like ha 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 I'm evil <laughs> yeah. and I'm killing just, everybody. Like just I just being manipulated yeah. by Thornhill. That's what I'm thinking. If it's like her mm -hmm. his master. Yeah. Is there anybody <sighs> else that could be the sister at this point? Is there any? No, is there no, any? It, it's gotta so. be Thornhill, right? Like there's yeah. no question about it. It's yeah. gotta be Thornhill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because also she killed the therapist. Well, actually, no. Um, yeah, but it makes sense. That's why she would frame him and the therapist. Yeah. Why did he kill the therapist? Did he just freak out in one of their sessions? Oh, no, no, because they this happened literally right after Wednesday left. But like hmm. maybe he had a session and he just freaked out. Like that's where I'm. I'm wondering. This is like how much is there? Is it control? Is it like why? When is it triggered? When do you become the monster? All that kind of stuff. Because she didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, she didn't know he was in. Like when she went to go answer that door, right? She, she wasn't like, "Oh, Tyler, are you okay?" Exactly. Or like that's what I don't think they were in the middle of a session. He was like in the room and then that's you know, true. Waved that's out. true. It that's seemed true. like he had snuck snuck in there somehow right which yeah, shows what? intent but is mm -hmm. it his intent i i can't see why it would be his intent though unless tyler's yeah, really good at tricking us this? what does he get maybe his the only the only possible motivation i can think is like oh his mom died in a a an, a never more related incident but even that is like weak and there there definitely should have been more set up for that so i i i want to believe he's just being manipulated i actually also feel yeah. like that makes the most sense um, because, like, I have a hard time seeing them pull off, in a good way, him being, like, the big bad all along. Yeah. Like, we have what, one I, episode yeah. left, and, and I'm, I'm rooting for the show to be good, but, like, if they pull that out with one episode, like, I mean, I want them to, to do well, but that's gonna be real hard to make that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just, it makes I, more sense the other way, it's just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or if they do, then there there's needs to be a ton of exposition and that's not gonna be fun for us. Yeah. Like I'd like everything I'd like all the puzzle pieces to have been laid out already. I don't want them to have to shoehorn in any new information to make it make sense, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, and I, I feel, feel like, like with the with the conclusion we've come to, all the pieces have been laid out, so that would work really well. I just I feel like he can't control it because do you remember when they're in the house in the Gates house? And Tyler warned Enid and Wednesday to get out and to run. Yeah, the right the before the monster oh, came. That's so true. like, it it can't he can't control like there's no way because then what would be the point of warning them if he and was then, then also, going to try and kill he, them? Why would he be trying to get close to Wednesday this whole time? 
you Wh know, knowing because he yeah. hasn't. There's been yeah. no manipulation. There's been like he hasn't done anything that's really like gotten in the way of her uncovering the truth. And if he did have ulterior motives and like was fully in control, you would think he'd be trying to like hide his identity. Haha, <laughs> get it? <laughs> hide his identity. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> um <laughs> that was unintentional. But he'd be, you know, he'd be trying to kind of conceal himself, but it doesn't I don't know, it doesn't seem like he's really done anything to obstruct the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, what are we watch... going into the finale? What do we want to see? Like like Yeah, what do we what do we want to have? Happy. Enid get everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wednesday apologize. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, dude. Okay, that's. I, also, I kind of want to see what you guys thought. That this is my only thing. I I kind of feel like she needs to be accountable for some stuff because I feel she like really Enid mm -hmm. and Tyler. We'll see what the heck happens with Tyler. Have both been like sticking their neck out for her, and we have these like half uh, apology kind of like oh we made up, but like I, I feel like Wednesday needs to because she's actually kind of being a jerk sometimes and like she did yeah. try and get tyler killed and it's like it's good that he loves her anyway or whatever but like you also did still try and get him killed and totally use him instead of going on a date so i, I don't know i feel like i feel like we need that especially for her character growth too because i i do think that you know i i don't know sure. i want to see her character like grow not just like I, appreciate the value of friendship like mm -hmm. i think we're building to that yeah, there's got to be a full hug. A full hug moment is is in, in the stars. I can't stars. wait. <laughs> I an apology. I'm with Haley. I I feel like we need an apology. However, however veiled in social morbidity <laughs> as Wednesday normally does, I feel like we still need one. <laughs> but um, yes. yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we will see. Um, as always, Flying Thrash is about the Patreon. The next episode, episode eight, the finale, is up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we will see you all in the next video.